Well, hey everyone, this is Shirish and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm back with another one of the amazing US universities, Purdue University. Well, wouldn't it be great if your university had an airport? Well, Purdue does. It is the first university-owned airport in the United States. Located in West Lafayette, Indiana, Purdue University is a public research university that attracts large numbers of in-state and out-of-state students, as well as international students around the world. In fact, it has the fourth largest international student population in the United States. Like always, in this video, I will give you an in-depth view of the university and will decode the academic, social and financial aspects of the university with my star ratings. And then I will offer you the most amazing and important tips to strategies to get into Purdue. Make sure to listen closely as I will be sharing most amazing strategies to get into Purdue. And later, I will give you an opportunity to complete your application step by step using the most comprehensive college admission course known as Successful Applicant. This course can help you shortlist best fit universities, write winning essays, better recommendations, and also apply to your top universities. This course is an absolute must for you to get into your dream university. So for all of you, the successful applicants, let's hit it up for Purdue University. Hi, I'm Shirish Gupta, and I empower people to hack their success, rise above the challenges, and confidently create an extraordinary life they deserve. Purdue University is a private land-grant university in West Lafayette, Indiana. It is a flagship university of the Purdue University system. It was established in 1869. The person responsible for the land it grew on was John Purdue, after whom the university was named. It was named in the top 10 public universities in America by Wall Street Journal in 2021. Purdue is located in a small town of West Lafayette. It's located very close to Indianapolis and Chicago and is the most densely populated city in India. The town comes with a lot of history and culture that you will get to be a part of. Purdue University's campus is about 2,600 acres located in a small city, along with that additional 13,000 acres for agriculture and industrial research. The campus features red brick and limestone buildings arranged around lush shaded courtyards. Purdue is also home to Amazon.com's first ever brick and mortar location where students can have textbooks shipped overnight for no cost. The most popular majors at Purdue University include management, uh, mechanical engineering, computer science, industrial engineering, pharmacy, nursing, professional flight technology, aeronautical and aeronautical engineering. Although I'm not a big fan of judging a university solely on the basis of the ranking, Purdue University is also one of the top 20% universities in the world according to US News, QS News and all other major ranking services. Alright, let's now move on to our next section talking about the right fit, starting with academic fit. Purdue University has semester system with spring, fall and optional summer semesters. The academic climate is fairly competitive and intense. Purdue has established its name in many top-of-the-line programs, but one program that still stands out here associated with engineering majors. Purdue has 13 colleges and the main campus offers over 200 majors for undergraduates, over 69 masters and doctoral programs, and professional degrees. The academic requirements at every college vary by school and major. They include English, math, lab science, and foreign language proficiency. Management is also a very popular major, followed by mechanical engineering, computer science, and industrial engineering. Additionally, Purdue offers a strong program in professional flight technology, which includes hands-on trainings at the university's own airport. In fact, Purdue has produced more than 20 astronauts, including the pioneer Neil Armstrong and Gus Grimson. There are many freshmen taking classes in seminar style that are actually taught by graduate students and academic advisors who help answer students' questions and provide career advice, which is very, very helpful. 23% of students study abroad, and options are available for students in all majors in more than 60 countries. Students also participate in more than 2,000 research projects each year. The Purdue faculty is really excellent. Professors really care and want their students to excel, so they're always really helpful if you face any problem. Purdue is associated with 30 Nobel laureates, one Turing Award, and a number of scholar awards. Most of the classes here are average to medium class size. The classes are medium, but freshman classes for undergraduate can range up to 50 students to about 100, even 150 to 200. Around 38% of classes are less than 20 students although. So keeping all this thing in mind, I would like to rate Purdue with four stars on academic difficulty level, where five is the highest level. Well, after academic fit, let's move on to social fit. 
Social life at Purdue University is very active and thriving. Purdue has an awesome sense of community. The students here are very academically focused and driven. West Lafayette is a small town that is typically college town. It would not exist if it wasn't for the university. The surrounding area has a good social scene for those 21 and over with excellent bars and nightlife. There are also many great nearby restaurants within walking distance for all students to enjoy. Chicago and Indianapolis are favored weekend destinations for students with cars and each spring, a week of fun and parties lead up to the Grand Prix go-karting racing. Students also look forward to Bug Bowl, an annual event sponsored by Purdue's Etymology Department. Purdue has about 50,000 students with about 37,000 plus are undergraduate and remaining part are PG and PhD. About 47% are out-of-state and 10% student body is international. Purdue University offers students more than 1,000 registered student organizations and clubs across campus. It's huge. You can apply your knowledge and expertise, build your professional network, develop skills for your resume, and make good friends by participating in student clubs at Purdue. Housing is really nice, but a little conservative. 40% of students live in Purdue's residence halls. There are no quiet dorms and restrictive visitation hours to govern males and females. Although housing is guaranteed for undergraduates, many inexpensive just off-campus housing is also available. If you are interested in off-campus housing, there are many options available in both West Lafayette and the Lafayette. Lafayette is directly across the river from West Lafayette. Many Lafayette apartments are less expensive than those in the West Lafayette side, and some are within walking distance of the campus. The meal plans here are available for everyone. The food is fantastic. It's all you can eat, basically. There are many options available outside of the campus as well. Purdue is big on sports too. Men's basketball, women's golf, and men's and women's swimming and track and field are among the most competitive sports on campus. 34 club sports and more than 40 intramurals are a big draw for those looking for friendly competition. Purdue offers a competitive academic and good social life as well. I would like to give it three stars out of five on the quality of life at Purdue. Now let's look at the financial fit. Purdue falls in an average expensive school category. You can expect about $30,000 to $35,000 in annual tuition expenses. The housing and dining may fall about $12 to $15 per annum. Purdue is not very expensive school and that's a great plus. As far as financial aid is concerned, Purdue University offers thousands of merit scholarships to US citizens and Indiana residents. But for international students, it is not a very friendly school. For domestic students, scholarships averaging about $5,000 are awarded annually. And not just that, there are about 216 scholarships available in 18 sports. But for international students, you must apply to third-party scholarships, which is not very exciting. So think about applying to Purdue if you can take care of the tuition fee at least, because you can take care of your living and fooding with part-time work as well. I would like to give it three stars out of five on financial fit. After exploring the fit, let's move on to the most curious section on how to triple your chances of getting into Purdue University with my special admission tips and strategies. The ideas I'm going to share now come from a decade-long experience working with students for career and college admission. Purdue University's acceptance rate last year was about 18% overall, but it's less for international students. Purdue applications are reviewed individually and holistically with two primary questions in mind. Number one. Are you academically prepared to succeed in your desired academic program? Number two, are you a competitive candidate in the context of overall pool of applicants for the program based on the available space? So it's predominantly the right academic fit and the right personality fit. The evaluation begins when they have received your application and all required material like Purdue specific questions from the application, self-reported high school or college grades, ACT, SAT, for undergraduates and GRE and GMAT for postgraduates, and proof of English proficiency. Purdue will review to confirm that enrollment conditions have been met before working on the process. For Purdue University, apply early action for undergraduate, or if you're applying for postgraduate programs and if you have multiple rounds, apply to early rounds. Just do it. Applying early action allows you to be considered for scholarships, admittance into honors college, and gives you a better chance of admission into the engineering and other programs as well. Next is to get good grades. Competitive applicants have a strong background in math and science courses, taking full advantage of the classes available to them. Purdue wants to see students challenging themselves and achieving high grades in school or college. Another thing, trends in achievement over time is important. 
Did you continue taking rigorous courses over the entirety of your high school or college career? What trends do you see in your grades? Did they drop over the time or they go up, remain consistent? Again, Purdue wants you challenging yourself for four years of high school or college for postgraduate students. As well as Purdue wants to see continued improvement or consistent excellence. Next, for Purdue, test scores are important but are not the only thing. There are no minimum test scores. They are absolutely taken into consideration, but there are many, many other factors that go into admission decision. As Purdue knows, students are more than just numbers. Send in all your scores. Purdue takes the highest of all. For SAD, it's about 1450 plus. ACT is about 33. For postgraduates, GRE is around 325 plus, and for GMAT is about 680 plus. In addition to a strong academic record, Purdue wants students that are well-rounded and able to balance academics with involvement within their academic and social community. Don't be shy about pointing out any of your activities or achievements like volunteer and leadership positions. Participation in sports, music, clubs, competition, community service and civic organizations are welcome site on the application. So be sure to include everything you've participated in. Next, your statement of purpose or application essays are an excellent opportunity to express your personality, work ethic and passion. Your essays shouldn't just be a rehash of things that are already listed on your application, but instead, it either focus on showing a side of you that hasn't been brought across so on your applications yet, or how your experiences relate to making you an ideal candidate for Purdue. Feel free to keep a somewhat informal conversational tone in your essays. Use your speaking voice with proper grammar. Don't include anything unprofessional like swearing or inappropriate jokes or activities but be yourself and let your personality shine through your essays. Basically, Purdue is looking at all the applicants as people, not numbers or words on the page. Through everything you include with your application, admission is looking to get a sense of who you are, what you have done, and what your passions are to determine if you would be successful at Purdue University. For undergraduates, students can apply to early action deadline in November and regular decision in January. The applications are accepted through common application. As discussed earlier, apply early action to get maximum benefits. As far as postgraduates and PhDs are concerned, applications are accepted individually department-wise and deadlines for PG is about between October to March every year. In the end, to conclude, if you are highly motivated, hardworking, love to get involved in diverse activities, supportive, friendly, and love the idea of the community, you will do perfectly well at Purdue University. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really appreciate it. Please make sure to support my work by liking and sharing this video and also subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. If you want to get admission to Purdue University or any other top universities, I would highly recommend you to check out this course, The Successful Applicant on College Admission. I have created this course with 11 years of my expertise and helped thousands of students to get admitted to top colleges such as Howard, MIT, Stanford, Princeton and all other top colleges across the globe. This course packs the most advanced college admission strategies for university shortlisting, profile building, essay writing, college interview and everything else that will make sure you get into the school of your choice. It's a short ticket for your dream college admission. Well, thank you once again and I'll be back with another amazing video for you. Till then, this is Shirish signing off. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.